Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designing techtips.com. Well we've got an awesome little car carousel for you here today. And you can do so many different things with it. It's great. For instance this first one, regular card, got a little button there. You can have it pop out into an image light box. Card 2 here, if we click on it it's going to pop out into a video light box. And if you want to, you can get the button to trigger these things. On card three, I've got a video pop up from the button here. Really easy to build and a fantastic feature to have on your site. It saves a lot of real estate having cards flip around like that. We're actually using the Supreme Modules plugin today, one of my favorite Divi plugin. So let's get started. And once loaded, let's go down and I'll simply delete this module and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside I've got a row, the green tab with two columns in it. I'm going to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light grey modules here. When you install Divi Supreme, you get 50 of these modules here and there's some absolutely awesome modules there. You also get several extensions that are really useful and we've covered those in various videos. So today I'm looking for the Supreme card carousel. There it is right there. I'm gonna pop that in there. And it's gonna pop up to the default here. Let's take a look at the carousel settings before we add some items. You've got various different settings down here. I'm gonna to choose to slide mine today, but you can do a cover flow if you display more than one, it gives it a kind of 3D appearance. You can flip them or you can cube rotate them. In fact, let's use a flip today for this one. You can choose to show shadows, what direction you want to go left to right or right to left then. Centered mode if you're displaying more than one slide at once. Slides, number of slides that you want to show, it says three there. It's irrelevant for us today because we're flipping one to the other. And number of sides to scroll. I've got that set to single. If you're displaying sort of three with different variants, you can up the number there. Don't want to use multiple rows. Slider speed, that's the time it takes to go from one to flip to the next one. I'm going to slow that down probably to 800 milliseconds. Autoplay, yeah, I'm going to keep mine on autoplay. The change interval, that's how long each slide's going to stay there. Let's change that to maybe 4,000 for this demonstration, which is four seconds, 4,000 milliseconds. I do want it to pause on hover when we put my mouse on it. I like that because it lets people read it and look at it without it flipping to the next one when they're in the middle of it. Don't need any spacing adjustments on this as we're going to be displaying one at a time. I want it to infinitely loop. If you turn that off when it gets to the last slide, it'll stop. If you've got different amounts of text and things like that and you want them to be all the same height, you can equalize card heights down below. Show arrows, I don't want to show the arrows. I will show pagination. Paginations is the little dots that will appear underneath that people can click on to go from slide to slide. I don't want to disable touch dragging on mobile devices. It's a good idea if they can drag those. And the grab cursor is fine. Okay, I'm going to leave it just like that. And let's add our first item. And there we go. It puts in a generic sort of looking card for us. We've got a title here, obviously put in whatever title you want. You can put a subtitle in if you want to. And we've got a regular text field down below where you can align, bold, italicize, make bullet lists and add media if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is on the default. Down below we've got image and badge. So if you want to add an image up here, let's use the same one as I did before. It pops it in there. You can choose to use the image as a background. You can adjust the image height down below there. And obviously you've got the usual positioning things for images back down here. Now here's the interesting one. You can choose to open the image in the light box and you don't have to use this image. You can use any image you want to pop up from here. For instance, let's go in here. 
and add a different image that when we click on that one, it's going to pop up. Now, like I say, you can use the same one, or if you want, you can use a completely different one. Let's put a completely different one in there. So when we click on this, that image will pop up. Here's the badge text up here. Get it to say whatever it is you want. And down below, we've got a link. You can choose a link for your badge if you want to. Link for the whole module if they click anywhere around here. And of course, we can choose a different link for the button. I'll go into the button in a minute because you can use it for a pop up if you want to. Also, always best practice if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. Okay, if we go down to the button, you've got regular button options here, button text there, button URL, same best practices. And here's some fantastic switches. And I'll do those in the ne next card to show you how to open an image light box or a video. We've got background settings down below. That's for the whole background of this little card right here. And you've got all the usual ones. You've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, or background mask. I'm going to put a simple light gray in mine today. I'm going to hit the little dots for the drop down and let's perhaps use that color fantastic okay well i want to pop all my text and things in the middle let's go over to our design for the card now now you can give your image rounded corners align it give it an overlay if you want to i'm going to leave mine just on the default there you can give it borders and of course you can give separate top right bottom and left or rounded corners if you want box shadow if you want Again, I'm going to leave mine just as it is. I think I'll color up my badge a little bit. You can choose to put it in top right, or you can have a custom position. If you put this on, you can align it left and top and put it basically anywhere on that image you want. I'm happy for mine to be on the right hand side there. I will give it a different background color. You may notice you don't see the background color change when we're on the back end here. But when we go to the front end, it will. You can change that padding and make it the shape that you want to with that. And let's make the text color perhaps light. That's fine. If we roll on down, you've got all the text spacing and text shadow options you need there. You can make your badge more or less rounded. 50 pixels is going to give it those nice round corners you see up there. If you put a zero on, it'll be perfectly square. As long as you've got this chain highlighted it'll do all four corners at once for you let's put that back to how it was 50 pixels nice round corners okay let's move on down you can give your badge a border width i'm gonna leave my badge alone now i'm happy with that title text i want to make that bold and pop it in the middle and of course, with Divi, you've got a crazy amount of fonts. You really do. To audition one, just go in there, roll over it. It'll give you an example when you roll over it. Again, I'm going to leave mine just as it is. But I do want to pop that into the middle. Great. Let's roll on down a bit more. Body text, all I'm going to do is pop that one into the middle too. And we've got our little subtitle down there. We roll down a bit more. There's a subheading. Let's make that blue. Put it in the middle. Perhaps make it semi-bold. There we go. Okay, moving on down. I'm just going to pop that button in the middle. Make it slightly more interesting looking. Let's go into the button. Flip the little switch for use custom styles for button. Button text. I'm going to make that white. Button background, you've actually got color, gradient, and image there. I'm just going to use a simple blue color. I'm going to get rid of the border. Don't know if you noticed there, it was set to zero, but still showing a border. All I did was flip it to one, then flip it back to zero. That made the border disappear there. Button icon. You can choose to show one or not, and there's a lot of icons to choose from down here. Let's have a question mark, perhaps. 
That'll do nicely. And it's fine on the right, but I want to show it all the time. So let's take that off. Again, I flipped it yes to no and yes to no again, and it's showing it right there. And I want my button in the middle. Fantastic. I'll give the text a bit of shadow there. It just helps lift it off the button. But that's entirely up to you. I'm going to leave mine just like that then. Great. So we kind of got our first card there. So let's save our changes now and see what it's going to look like on the end, front end. Save the Supreme Card main. Little purple button at the bottom. And let's save our page changes. And exit the Visual Builder. And we can roll on down. And there it is. There's the colored badge that we did for it. We got our image, card, subtitle, regular text, and our button here. And remember, we set this to pop out into a light box, but a different image. So if I click on it, it pops up into a light box with the little image we had there. Okay, well, let's do another one. Now we've got our basic styling. We don't have to go through all that again. We can just duplicate this module. And let's have one pop up a video perhaps from an image. And we'll have another one that pops up perhaps a video from a button. Really easy to do. So let's enable the Visual Builder again. And once enabled, we'll roll on down. We'll go back into our little module here. Dark tab for the module. I'm simply going to copy it or duplicate it. Two little squares there. And I'll duplicate it twice. Let's go into the second one here. Just so we know which one's which, I'll change this to a two. And for this one, let's pop up an image or let's pop up a video from the image here. So if I roll down a little bit, image and badge, I'm going to change the actual image so we know which one's which. And you could use the actual YouTube video image that you're going to pop up and it supports Vimeo and other video platforms also. Now this time I'm going to roll down, image light box off, and I'm going to open this video light box. And all we need to do is go over to YouTube or wherever you want to get your video. If you hit on the little question mark here, it tells you to put your URL from your video pop up in there. Let's grab the URL from YouTube and I'll simply put it in there. Great. We still got all the link options you have down below for badges and things like that. And you can do a separate link for your button. And I'll show you how to pop up the video from the button in a minute. So let's save this. And before we go and exit the Visual Builder, I'll do the third one here. Go into the third one. And again, let's just change that so we know which one we're dealing with. I'm going to roll down. We'll change out that image one more time. And this time, let's pop up a video from the actual button here. I guess we could change that text to say video on the button itself. So here's the button. Let's just say video. And a button URL. Let's get a slightly different video for this. And I'm going to pop it in there. There it is. And let's just pop over the design and perhaps change the icon on the button. If we go down to our button here, use custom styles. Go down to the actual icon. Choose whichever one you want. Great. Well, that, let's save our changes now. We'll save the main changes again. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And let's roll on down. If I hover over it, it's going to stop. We're on card two. I think we set this to the image to have a video pop up. Let's click on it. And there we go. There's our little video. We close that one out. And number three, if I hover over it to stop it, we set the button to have a video pop up there. <laughs> there you go.
And that's an awesome little carousel right there with plenty of different options. So there you go, guys. There's the Supreme Card Carousel from Divi Supreme Modules. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.